My name is Ricky Shen, Application Engineer with Trimex Solutions, and today I want to show you a little bit on how we end up polishing PolyJet parts. When we're making PolyJet parts, we have typically one side that's gloss on this lens. We have these nice glossy facets and everything inside of here. However, the underside of the part has a matte finish. While this is a smooth finish, sometimes we desire to have a nice high gloss finish, and today I want to show you how to turn this part into a high gloss part like this using some very simple techniques and some simple uh, materials that you probably already have on hand to hand polish these parts. So hold on a minute and we'll get going. Before we get started here I want to show you kind of a list of materials that you'll need. The first thing I want to bring up is always personal protection. Anytime you're sanding anything, be it wood, plastic, or grinding on metal, you should always have some sort of uh, respirator or dust mass just so you don't inhale any uh, small particles. Today we will be wet sanding so we shouldn't really produce any uh, particulates in the air. However, we just always want to play on the safe side. With that said, we can go ahead and uh, talk about the other materials we'll need. First thing we're going to need is a tub of water. In this case, I simply have a Tupperware container that I have just poured about half full of water. You can use any sort of vessel around. Uh, we don't need something particularly deep. We're just going to periodically be dipping our part down into this water to make sure that everything stays wet. The next thing we're going to need is our sandpaper. Today we're just going to be using three different grits. So we're going to be using a 500, a 1000, and a 1200. These are just basic sandpapers. These are just picked up at the local hardware store. Um, you can get as fancy as you want. Some are plastic back, some are paper back. Paper back will work just fine. We're not going to be uh, wet sanding, but for so long here, so it won't deteriorate too much on you. Then we're also going to use the Novus um, Plastics Polishing Kit. So we're going to be using the Heavy Scratch Remover and the Fine Scratch Remover. And those will be our final steps to bring it up to a really high luster. With that, we will also want to have a towel around since we are dealing with water since we're probably going to end up uh, uh, dropping water all over our workspace we'll want to keep that to, to dry our work as we go a little bit so the first thing we're going to want to do is start out with our 500 grit here and the goal here is to just get a completely even sheen on this entire part just you want to remove any indication of any layer lines or anything because the more work we do at this early stage uh, the easier and faster we'll be able to go through the other stages I'm going to work in circular motions. Now, like periodically, we can dry off the parts so that we can get a good look at what we're doing here. We look at it, we're starting to take on a nice even surface finish. We do see, however, over here, there's a couple, a couple kind of glossy lines that are showing through. And that's showing there's a slight variation in, in depth there. They may have been a nozzle out or something like that. I can faintly feel that ridge. That's somewhere where we're going to want to focus on and knock that down. If we don't do that now, it'll always show in our final product. Right off again, we'll take a quick peek and see if there's other little areas where I can see other indications. Maybe over here on this blue, I see a faint spot. Try to pick it up on the camera right here. And there's still a couple little specks over here. So I'm just going to hit those one last time. And the key here is to take a lot more time with this 500 grit than later on because we need to get out the slightly deeper blemishes now. Alright, so now we look at this, we see we have a nice even finish all around it. We don't see any glossy specks coming through or anywhere indication of any low spots. And what we can do now is we will step up and we'll go to our next grit. In this case we're going to move to 1000 grit and we do the exact same thing again However, because we took more time with that uh, 500 grit, we can work a little faster here because now all we need to do is take out any of the little scratches that were on there because of the 500 grit. So we'll continue to wet the work and keep sanding. This 
time around we should be getting even a more and more hazy smooth surface finish it's very even matte finish is forming now we're going to move now to our 1200 grit do the same thing again Again, we should see a very nice, even matte sheen going on this part. And then the next thing we'll do is we're going to start using our polishing compound. So we can get our water tub out of the way. And we're going to end up starting with our Novus 3 Heavy Scratch Remover. You could really use any... Uh, any plastics uh, polishing compound, um, you can even use what comes with, say, like headlight polishing kits as well. But we'll put a generous amount on here. Then we're just going to end up polishing kind of in circular motions, and we can actually just use the towel that, we, um, that we're using to dry it, find a, a drier spot on it. But we could start working this on the part. Now, if you haven't used a polishing compound before, a polishing compound basically has grit similar to what's on sandpaper, except it's suspended inside of a fluid. So as we buff it on here, we're actually sanding away uh, the very surface of the part. So this, think, you think of this as just ultra-fine grit sandpaper. So we'll keep, sand, keep going ahead and buffing on this, and I'll reapply a few times and keep kind of wiping it dry and inspecting it until we get to a nice uh, polish starts to form on it. So already starting to get a little a little bit of polish happening there. I'm going to do that again. At this point we have a really kind of nice soft luster to the part. And then what we can do is we can then move to the second polish, which is the fine scratch remover if you're using the, the Novus polishing system. Get some on here. Get a pretty generous amount. I want to find a spot on our towel that we didn't use for the heavy scratch remover because we don't want that uh, coarser grit getting polished into the part and will kind of be counter counterproductive for us. So we go to a clean spot on here and we start to polish again. So really starting to take on a really nice polish out of this part. I could go ahead and do it a couple more times that fine polish remover and get even a higher gloss out of it. But as you can see you can really simply take uh, PolyJet parts and get really nice high gloss finishes out of them with very minimal work. I'm starting from, from um, something like the original part. We can end up getting a very high gloss out of it. And if we spend a little bit more time polishing, we can even take it even a touch higher gloss as well. But we're not using any special machines or buffing wheels or anything like this. This is something you can easily do at any, any workbench. So if you have any questions, please let us know. Thank you very much.